Ah! So, as many of you would have been aware if you've been watching my videos for a while, is I changed my style of videos where I had started shouting a lot in my videos. And a lot of people were like, why are you shouting? What's going on? And if you haven't watched the video where I explain why I was doing that, I put a link for a video up above. So recently I have been going through a process, say for like around a two week period, where I had been questioning whether I should continue to make shouting videos or not. And yeah, my intuition just kept kicking in and saying, mm, this is not a good thing to do. And I didn't feel that with this type of content, a lot of time I thought about sharing it with people in my everyday life that are my friends and so forth. And I didn't feel comfortable with them seeing these types of videos. So for me, inwardly, being my authentic self, it just doesn't feel right for me to make those shouting style of videos. It was a good little experiment, but I thought to make a 100% of a correct decision that I would ask for your insights, whether you liked me shouting or if you'd like to see a mixture of videos of me shouting or not, or if you'd like me to just talk like I normally would like I used to do before making videos with shouting. And the votes come in, and as you can see here, a very high percentage, I think it's around 63%, said that they prefer that I don't shout in videos whatsoever. So my intuition's not really been wanting me to do it, and it hasn't been feeling completely right within myself. And then you're just confirming what my intuition was confirming for me already. So I'm not going to make any shouting videos whatsoever. I'm going to try and be more passionate in my videos, but I'm not going to be swearing at all like I was in those shouting videos and just getting really, really like intense in a aggressive way, you could say. And there was a lot of people that said they liked it, but then there's a lot of people that said they didn't like it. And I always want to give my audience what they want, at least the majority of what my audience wants I'm going to give you. So I thank you all very much for voting. And yeah, it, all of your votes has counted and helped me go in this direction, which I think is a very good positive direction. I'd like to hear your thoughts. Did you prefer me shouting or not shouting? let us know down below in the comment section on this video. And also another train of thought I went through was, I want to interview certain high level social media influencers out there and spiritual teachers and people that teach many other different things out there. And when I thought about interviewing them in the future, I was like, no, I don't want them to see the shouting style content videos that I've been making whatsoever. So again, that is another sign that no, this is not right for me. And recently I did make a what a in a day video in Singapore. It was my first time going there. It was an amazing journey that I was just on for a short period of time. And I wasn't shouting in that video, which I hadn't done that for a while. And there was some great feedback from some people saying, wow, I'm actually getting to see you truly as your real authentic self. And I really, really like that. And when someone said that to me, again, just enough affirmation that making shout star videos is not for me. And I'm all about ahimsa, which is a Sanskrit word, which means non-violence and compassion to all living things, which is a way of living. And I'm someone that is massively into conscious communication, such as non-violent communication. If you don't know about this, this is one of the best forms of communication that you could possibly ever have to have the best connections with anyone, whether it's a lover, your wife, your husband, your kids, your family members, your friends, and so on. And they just completely recommend a non-violent way of communicating. So me shouting in the ways that I have in videos is not non-violent communication. So again, it's not really in alignment for me whatsoever. And I always want to be as mindful as I possibly can with the words that I use and the way that I'm portraying them in a way that's just not going to rub people up in the wrong way or massively trigger them. And so I actually am able to get my point across in the best way possible. So yeah, doing any forms of violent communication as many people had mentioned in my videos as well. They're like, what? You're into like non-violent communication, Ahimsa, this doesn't make any sense. And to be honest, I couldn't agree more. 
yeah, there is certain people out there that do shouting in their videos and want to just make specific types of content where they're being very aggressive, but I don't need to be like that. I'm not like that naturally whatsoever. And yes, so many of us that are on YouTube do act in many different ways, but there is a point where you can just really, really go in a way where it's so far from who you truly are and it's just not the best thing to be doing because it's fake in many different ways. You're being something that you're not whatsoever and I just don't wanna be like that. And yes, for a lot of people, shouting at me, it can work for them, but then there's a lot of people where when you shout at them, it rubs them up the wrong way, they get defensive, they shut down, and then they do not listen to you whatsoever. So this type of people out there, like me, where I'm coming from more of a karma approach that's non-aggressive, non-violent, and that's gonna work for a certain group of people, and then there's other people out there that shouting for them is really in alignment for them, and then they can appeal to another different group of people. And man, if I think about it, when I'm gonna have children in the future, would I ever want my children watching videos of me shouting and swearing? No, whatsoever. I wouldn't be proud of that in any way, shape, or form. And now I would not want them to behave in that way as well. Or any of my friends, for that matter of fact. So, for me to be doing it, pff, yeah, I don't wanna be setting that example whatsoever for anyone. And yeah, when you're being quite angry and aggressive in your videos, and you're sort of, saying not very nice things about people and so on, they can start to take that on as their own self-talk. And yes, it can be good to kick yourself up the arts and get yourself to do what you need to do because a lot of time we're just not feeling like we want to do what we need to do to achieve certain results we want within our lives and within ourselves. But there can be a fine line between just like beating down on yourself and beating yourself up and not being nice and being very negative and very violent towards yourself which I just wouldn't advise to anyone in any way, shape, or form. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions about anything that I've talked about in this video, leave them down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and go get those gains. Peace.